out of year six. We've done it. We've made it. We've made it not only to the end of the week. This is our last day that we're going to be doing remote learning because on Monday we're all back to school. So this is it. This is the sort of last English video that I think I'll hope I'll ever have to do because I'll see you face to face on, on Monday. Um, so this uh, is going to be a bit of a uh, fun sort of create it, make it lesson for English using all that hard work you've been doing this week. Some fantastic stories, some beautiful illustrations, so much hard work has been put into this. Nate is going to absolutely love it. Um, so what we're doing there is, well, it's the same as, as yesterday because we're actually then now going to make our books. Um, so I've put this book on here, too much stuff because that's the one that we've been sort of innovating. And I'm gonna remind you here um, of, the, of what the challenge was. He needed you. Uh, he loves a good read and wants a new book. And then can you design and write it to make a storybook for him? And then can you make him this happy when we read him your story? Um, so what you're going to be doing then is creating an actual physical copy of the book. Now, for those people who came and collected their stuff last week, you should have uh, three blank pieces of paper uh, in your pack with you. Uh, if not, if you haven't got them, then three pieces of paper from around wherever would be fantastic. Um, and then we can create a little book uh, using that there. So on here, I've got like a bit of a thing that you'll need. So you need three sheets of blank paper. You'll need a ruler, you'll need a pen, a pencil, some colors, preferably pencil grains because the felt tip goes through onto the other side and makes it quite hard then to draw on the other side as well. Um, and these are the sorts of things that you'll then be doing. So you're gonna do a front cover and a back cover. Um, and then I will come on to that bit in a bit when I've shown you how far we're going to go. Um, so if I just share my camera with you, I can show you how I've made my book here. Um, I've got my... Okay, um, let's get that in the centre for you. So I've got my three pieces of paper here. Um, I've literally just got them on top of each other. I'll just show you, I've got them on top of each other there. Put them on top and then fold them in half and you've created your booklet. Now, if I fold them in half, you'll see, ta-da, my front cover. So I've called it Too Much Stuff Kit because that's what it's called. So yours could be called Too Much Stuff Stephen, Too Much Stuff Karen, Too Much Stuff uh, Mr. Barker. Uh, and then you need then your author, by who? Who is the story then about? Um, and then just a few uh, nice and easy illustrations that I've put on there. I've introduced my little character, and then we've got these sorts of things. I've put my little shoe hanging off uh, there. I'm quite pleased with that. Um, and then on the back, then you're then going to create your blurb as well on the back of your. Uh, if I actually go back to um, uh, to here, and I'll show you this next page here. So your blurb then um, is going to summarise the book in around two or three sentences, but don't include the ending. Okay, otherwise, what's the point of reading the book? You've just told me how it ends. So I've then gone with something like this. Kit is a beaver, geeky young soul who thinks that having more stuff makes his dam the best dam in all the land. However, when he starts adding all this new stuff to his pile, something happens which makes him learn a valuable lesson. And I've not said what. I've just said that there is a something that happens there. So if I just then show you my, uh, my book again, uh, I'll just show you on there. So I've flipped over. And then I've got my blurb there on the back. I've just put a little bubble around it and coloured the bubble in yellow. You might not be able to see it on my camera. And then the shopping trolley then there. Okay. Now, obviously, if you're new to this book, you haven't got a clue why there's a shopping trolley there. You haven't got a clue why there's a toilet, a, a, a bike and um, a shoe. I now know why there's a beaver because I've just read, read the thing here and it says Kit is a beaver. Um, but it makes me want to then read more about that there. Okay. Then, if I then stop my camera again, uh, um, then you're then going to miss the first page because more than likely your first page has got on the back, it's going to have, because you've used um, something big, you know, belt tips or something like that on the front cover to make it stand out more, um, you want then a nice clean page, the next page then, uh, to start your work on. Then you're going to do sort of page one is then the box one and page two and so on and so on. So if I then show you my book now, then um, if I just stop that there completely and just show you my book. Oh, I need to turn my camera on, don't I? Um, so that's my front page. Turn it up. That's then missed the page. That's then my front cover. So if you notice, one fine day near a river in a forest there once was a young cheeky beaver called Kit and such and such that's what yesterday and there then is my, my picture that I've then put on there. 
Now, as you can see, I've put lines in here, and I want to show you how to create your page. Now, because I've used pencil crayon, if I flip over, uh, I haven't got it then on the back there. I'm going to do my drawing, but first I need to create my line so I can draw on it, um, so I can write on it, sorry. So I'm going to do mine in pen, just so you can see what I'm doing, but I want you definitely to do yours in pencil. And you need a ruler, okay? So what you're going to do, you're going to put your ruler, you're going to put the number 10 on the right at the bottom uh, of your page, okay? Now, if you've noticed, I've done mine like a ruler's whip from the side as well, okay? So then I'm going to then mark every centimetre. So it should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, and then one on the zero as well there, so 10. And then if I come across here, and make sure that the number 10 is on the bottom of the line again. There, I do exactly the same stuff. Now, if you notice, I'm trying to keep my ruler quite straight. So like this, it wouldn't work. Okay, I'm trying to create it quite straight. If you need to, you, you could even use the fold line, couldn't you, in the middle? That's quite a good idea, actually. I might do that. Um, so then I'd go there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, ten. Now, because I've put my ruler at the bottom of the page on both lines at number 10, and because then I've marked a ruler, uh, marked a centimetre on each line, those lines now are straight lines. So if I marry those two lines up, ta -da, that's now a lovely straight line for me to draw on. There's another one. Ta -da. And I can keep going, and I've then got 10 lines for me then to write on. I'm not going to do them all. And then if I did, did all them, I've then got a nice uh, space here then to draw my picture. Okay. And then I could do the same then on there as well. So if you then, because uh, then it will be him in a dam, wouldn't it then? Because this is box two. And then I'd then write about him uh, wanting to be, get all his stuff, a bit of speech. Oh, I want to go and collect everything. Yay. And then this one then will be him going, finding the shoes. And then this one then will be him finding um, uh, other stuff as well that he's then got on there as well. So then what you would then end up with is a lovely sort of handmade book that you've got there. Now, if you really, 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 really wanted to shine in this little project you've got as well, you then can show me the book, absolutely perfect. But then how's Nate going to read it? So what you then got to do for me is send me a video of you reading your new story to Nate so that he can listen to it as well, like bedtime reading, save my voice, save Sarah's voice, which you press play, and you can then read him a, a bedtime story. That is a wicked way of ending uh, remote learning lockdown. Uh, lovely little project there to end with, and then you've got something there that you can keep for the rest of your life and be incredibly proud of, okay? I shall see you all on Monday year six, face-to-face uh, -face actually, real life, uh, and I shall see you later, bye.